Hey there boys and girls. We are going to use a place value chart today to practice multiplying numbers by the powers of 10 or by tens and hundreds here in fourth grade. So first we are going to use a place value chart to show the value of the number 948. So let's put that number into our place value chart. 900 means that the 9 goes in the hundreds place and has a value of 900. Then we said there was a 4 in the tens place, so it has a value of 40. And finally, we have an 8 in the ones place. So it has a value of 8, 948. So let's look at this number. If I were to multiply this number by 100, what would happen to the value of each of those digits in my number? Hmm, well let's think. We know that in a place value chart, each place is 10 times greater than the place just before it. So, if I were to multiply 948 by 10, let's look at that. So times 10, that means that I would multiply each of the values or each of the digits in that number by 10. And so my values would all increase by 10 times. So if I multiply 900 by 10, that means that my 9 increases to 9, or my 900 increases to 9,000. If I multiply the 4 or the 40 by 10, that means the value of this 4 increases by 10 times. And so now it has a value of 400. And if I multiply the 8 by 10, it now has a value of 80. So it goes in my tens place. Remember, we cannot leave this place empty, so we need to put a placeholder 0 there. So when I multiplied it by 1, look what happened. All of those digits shifted over to the left one place. But remember I asked you what would happen if we multiplied that number by 100. So since we've already increased it by 10 times, all we have to do is increase it by another 10 times. Because remember, 10 times 10 is 100. So. Now I'm going to take my 9,000 and multiply it by 10. It now becomes 90,000. If I multiply my 4 or my 400 by 10, it now has a value of 4,000. 80 times 10 is 800. 0 times 10, right, is 0. And then I still have this place over here that I must um, put my placeholder zero there. So if we look back at our original question and I asked you what happens to the value of the digits in the number 948 if we multiply that number by 100, well look here. Because it was 100 that we were talking about, the 9 actually shifted over two places. So from here to here, we're actually multiplying by 100. So when we multiply 900 by 100, we get the answer 990,000. 900 times 100 is 90,000. Same thing here. If we multiply 4 or the 4 in the tens place by 100, 40 times 100 equals 4,000. And when I multiply the value or the digit 8 by 100, 8 times 100 is 800. So everything actually shifted over two places to the left. So if we multiply the number 948 times 100, we get 94,800.